IC Gaming here. I'm going to do an unboxing on the Razer Blade 2014 14-inch gaming notebook. That right there is the box that it was shipped in, purchased from the Microsoft Store, which having made two purchases from them in the last couple of months, you can begin to understand how unusual that is for me unless you happen to notice that, yes, there's a pile of Macs sitting next to this box. Got this guy open real quick here, see what we have inside. Much smaller box, obviously. Okay. Look at that one. So here's the box that the notebook actually comes in. So you got the Razor Snake on it, the lovely recyclability, etc. etc. Got this tag over here. This says what it is. This is the 2.2 gigahertz. I ordered the 256 gig SSD. It doesn't say that yet, yeah, does. Right kind of in the middle there. Anyway, there you go with that. And all the lovely text that no one really cares about all this stuff over here. So let's get to the good stuff. Put the iPad back down because yes, I'm actually filming with an iPad. Because, well, it's about the easiest thing I had available that I can actually record with. So let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open and see what we got. Ah, pretty snazzy. So, here we have this nice, I don't even know what you want to call it. It's not carbon fiber exactly, but snake skin sort of looking box in there. Let's see if I can rip this out one handed. It shouldn't be too big a deal. It's not like this thing is ginormous by any stretch. Just trying not to drop stuff. Meanwhile, the cats, that's one of them are rather intrigued with the boxes. So we'll take these foam corners off. Okay. No more foam corners. Throw those down there. And take a closer look at the box. Ah, look at that. That is not the box being slightly ajar. That is apparently how it's made. So that the green of which they are oh so fond can show through. Oh, and that would be the laptop right there. Just like Apple, it has a little uh, plastic tab there. And seriously, these guys, I say these guys, I say everyone in general really, has been taking cues from Apple in terms of how you build packaging. This is your power brick right here. Not too bad. Pretty compact, not as small as an Apple brick, but it is... Uh, well, let's see, what does it say? This is a, right here, 150 watt power battery. So I think a lot of the Apple ones are 60 and 90. This is going to be, I believe, a cloth and some possibly, well, it's not gonna be a disc because this thing doesn't have a disc drive on it. Uh, cloth and various instructions, stickers. Let's see what all is in here. So we have this snazzy green card. Congratulations, there is no turning back, etc, etc. Let's see if we can get a little closer. There you go. If anyone really cares to read, you can pause the video and look at that. On to the next card. Need help? More of that stuff. Your settings anytime, anywhere. All the stuff is stored in the cloud. There it is in print, just in case. That looks like an instruction manual. That looks like another instruction manual. This would be the cleaning cloth, since I have a feeling you're going to notice fingerprints on this sucker, and a couple of stickers just in case. And I have one more little area in here, that would be this box, which I'm guessing is really just going to hold a power cord. Look at that, power cord it is. So, with that stuff out of the way, let's get to the things that people might be a little more interested in, which is how does this shape up next to other laptops? Unfortunately, I don't have a 15-inch MacBook Pro to compare this guy to. I wish I did because that would probably be a pretty interesting comparison. 
But I do have a couple of older Macs. So here we have right here, once again, that is the 14 inch razor blade. And I'm just gonna start stacking stuff on it. May or may not be a good idea, but too late, I have already done it. So right on top of it, directly on top is a 13 inch MacBook Pro. It is not a Retina model. It predates Retina. As you can see, there's a little bit of overlap here, as well there should be. Pretty flush at the back, that's what I was trying to do, just so you can see. So, not a whole lot of overlap. It's probably hard to tell on video, but if I were to guess, I'd say somewhere between half an inch to three quarters of an inch on that side, and over here on the left, a uh, quarter of an inch to half an inch. And in the front, compared, again, that's just compared to the 13 inch, maybe a quarter of an inch. So it's really not that much bigger than the 13 inch MacBook Pro of old. And then sitting on top here, the really small guy, that's the 11 inch MacBook Air. Go ahead and throw that one on top just so you can get an idea of how that looks compared to the razor blade. Again, I'm trying to line up the back as best I can doing all this stuff one-handed. So it's not exactly in the center again, so I apologize for that. But again, you can see there's a lot more space on this one compared to what the 13 inch MacBook Pro left. So let me go ahead and see if I can get this sucker turned on. You guys can see it boot. And, and I think at that point, be able to call it a day on this. So I'll just put the iPad down for a moment. That would be the backpack I more or less carry the MacBook Air in, pretty big for a MacBook Air, right? It's actually an old gaming or a computer lap, computer backpack from many, many years ago. And let me get the plastic off and I'll kind of show you the sides real quick. So once again, this is just kind of the top. This is the left-hand side if you are looking at it from the head on. So we have a couple of USB ports, power port back here, and it looks like an audio jack there. On the right hand side, looks like we have USB, HDMI, and I'm guessing that this one here, I don't know how well that's gonna show up kind of in front of my thumb there. I think that's a Kensington lock port. And then, yeah, I can already see some thumbprints on this sucker. Uh, the bottom here, you got, let's see, let me kind of put it upside down right now. So there's your vents, it looks like. I can see the fans in them. If I get kind of close here, you might be able to see one of the fans, see some of the blades. Uh, just pretty plain on the bottom. This is the other side of it, just kind of the bottom real quick here. And then you do have, unfortunately, one sticker here, a Windows product tag which I suppose you could probably just peel that sucker off and call it a day because, you know, at some point it's gonna come off anyway. All right, so here is the laptop, nice and green. No stickers to speak of except for the lone Intel inside. So there's the screen, got everything else. We'll go ahead and fire this up. Oh, look at that, they have a little custom image on their BIOS. Keyboard is nice and lit up. And I'm willing to bet you we're going to get a Windows start screen momentarily. At which point it'll be about time to call this an end because I need to set up user accounts and get on Wi-Fi and all that sort of fun stuff. Here we go, it's time to set up Windows. So notice that you still have a little snake in the corner. That's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. I will do my best to answer them. I'm going to see if I can get some benchmarks in place just to get an idea of what this plays like at some different resolutions because it is a quote unquote 3K screen. So theoretically it plays at a stupidly high resolution, but I'm not sure that it can actually play games consistently at high frame rates at said resolution. So we'll find out anyway. That right hit that 
This, God, I can't even speak. This has been the Razer Blade 2014 14 inch gaming notebook unboxing. I'm KIC. Thanks for watching. Check out more videos if you're interested. Talk to you later.